going on guys um, so today's video is uh, just gonna be me messing around in the shop uh, I got a few different projects I'm gonna be working on uh, for the focus and just some other stuff um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm doing now so some of you guys may remember that um, I was able to pick up a ZTEC um, rear wing for the focus uh, the only issue was that the um, the bolts um, were a little broken. So here's that now. Um, twist it around. So these were broken and a few other smaller ones were broken. Now I did the um, another project recently with these little uh, screw clips here. Uh, so what I'm thinking <laughs> to repair these is I'm basically going to take these and take the uh, JB Weld plastic bonder and glue them in right like that and see how it turns out. Uh, for the bottom ones, uh, they're supposed to have this little metal insert here, uh, but they do not. So I don't know, maybe I can do something similar on these, but I have to cut the uh, the square bottom out. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I can actually fill in the holes and then drill them out that way. We'll see. So here we are. I didn't record the uh, actual process. I mean, it's not hard. All I did was um, glue down the bottom. And um, for these, since it was a smaller hole, I didn't uh, I didn't use the whole square. Basically, I just I cut it to fit into the already uh, there plug, and just put it down. And I put some around it, so you can see. So yeah, now I'm just gonna let this sit and wait. Um, I mean, these two are different, and this one is the uh, the regular bolt. So we'll see how that that works out, but. Doesn't look too bad at all. Now onto the next project. All right, so I'm also going to be working on the radio today. Um, I need to take this out, um, fix the actuators in here because the little ball joint popped off, and now I can't do anything with this. Um, so I haven't. I have a backup if it's broken. I don't think it's broken. It's probably just popped off, which is dumb design. Um, I also have to install some of the uh, wires in here that will go to the new amp and subwoofer for that I'm switching out. Uh, yeah, so just have to take these two bolts out the bottom and then the whole thing will pull out. So I'm gonna get started on that as well. Alright, so the radio is pulled out and we see our culprit. Not gonna do much like that, is it? So, this better not be broken. That one's in there to go around the side. So that one's in there just fine. This one wants to be a pain. Um, may have to go ahead and switch that out, which isn't hard. You just get the other side and pop it out, and I can get my other radio. And out with the old. In with the new. Uh, that one looked like the um, the clips that go into this side were a little bit uh, stretched out too much. So yeah, now it's all done. 
Um, and that's just a little bit of the rat's nest that comes with this, uh, this radio. I can't really fix it up too much. I am going to take out, I think it's this one. Where is it? This stupid speaker. I think I'm going to need two hands for this one. Nope, got it. This is dumb. I hate this. All right. Um, oh, I need to go get the uh, RCA cables and the um, the other plug to go into the back of the radio for the for the amp. Here is the extensions. Um, this is all the RCAs for the speakers. Um, like I said, I'm going to have the um, all the speakers in the doors. I'm going to go ahead and power those and switch those out. And uh, this is the attachment you need. Uh, just going to go into B5. So you switch it around right there. Yeah, so that's all of that. I need to do something with this antenna because it doesn't really pick up Bluetooth all the time, and that's kind of annoying. Uh, maybe that'll help. Maybe it won't. Who knows? All right. I guess I'll go ahead and put this back in. Um, yeah. All right. Finally, no more buzzing to go into reverse. Oh, I'm so happy. Here we are. Um, these worked fine. Uh, this one was um, not damaged, but the one that was damaged, uh, look at that. Screwed right in. New screws on there. Screw on that one. And the undamaged one uh, bolted right in. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Um, if you guys need any instructions on how to do the wing risers, uh, you can go ahead and go to the card I'll put up here and uh, see how that's done. Hi right, guys, so I picked up the uh, brake flasher kit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install that. And that's all it is. Those wires there, and you just tag into here. Here's the wiring diagram. So we gotta cut. Come on, focus. There you go. We're gonna have to cut this one, which is the yellow or whatever that color is, right here. Because black and white is the ground. I'm gonna need jet. Actually, this is the um, one that you just plug in. Oh, the crimper one? Yeah, so you crimp this closed and then you can plug that in to the ground. So, yeah, you can probably get some pliers to do this, but I can do it with my hand too. And what happens is we take this black one, plug it in here, just like that, and then I'm actually not sure why there's all these wires. Yellow and white for the Focus ST, RS, or SE. Um, let's see. Yellow and red. It's also blue and white. Maybe there's two different uh, flashing patterns. So the cool thing is if you actually wanted to take this off, and not do the flasher module, you actually can just plug these two back in together. 
when you don't want me. Wow, it is insanely humid and hot right now. Mm -hmm. Like, terribly. Ooh. And there's no breeze. It feels like it could start raining any second. Well, it's been constantly raining all day. I mean. Alright, so, mail they want here. Even though I don't really feel like it matters gender specific. Uh, well, actually it is, because these have to go a certain way, I guess. I would usually solder that, but uh, we're pushed for time. So once you solder it, it makes a solid connection inside. So, red and yellow. There we go. Oh, it's good. So here is the uh, Z-Tech wing in the back with the uh, little lift. It's dirty, I need to clean it up, get the uh, spray wax out, but yeah, let me know what you think. I don't know uh, what I think yet. It is different, so it might take some getting used to. But the ZTEC spoiler with the ZTEC rear valence now. All right, and that is going to be it for this shop vlog. Um, hope you had fun hanging out while we went around and some stuff. Um, it's been a nice hot day, many shirt changes, but uh, it's all done for now. Um, these little shop vlogs are just kind of a, a collage of what you know our little, our little projects that I don't really need a full video for um but yeah guys if um you liked what you saw give us a thumbs up and um if you're new here definitely hit the subscribe button hit the little bell and we'll see you guys next time bye